welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today I'm going to be comparing two of the arguably most popular vlogging and beginner YouTube cameras. That is the Canon M50 and the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. That's a super long title. So if you want to see that comparison, then just keep watching. So I have owned the Canon G7X Mark II for over two years now. I got it in the beginning of 2018. You guys are currently watching me on the Canon M50, which I've owned for about eight months now. So I have a list of categories that I'm just going to go through and compare and contrast these two cameras and then give my overall thoughts on which camera you should get if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel or vlogging. So first let's talk about the price because the price is super important when it comes to finding a camera. If you're just getting started on YouTube, you definitely should not go buy like a thousand dollar or two thousand dollar camera because you don't know if it's something you're going to do long term. So you should definitely start off with a lower budget, but you still want to have great quality. So these two cameras actually as of right now I'm filming July 1st of 2020 retail for the same price. On Amazon I searched up both cameras and they currently retail brand new for $5.99, $600. So they are the exact same price. I also looked at Amazon Renewed, which is their certified refurbished program, and they also are both about $530 used. So these two cameras are the exact same price. So if your budget is around five or $600, these two cameras cost the same. So one of the main differences between these two cameras is that the M50 is a mirrorless camera and the G7X Mark II is a point and shoot camera. Now I'm not going to go too deep into this, but basically a mirrorless camera, whatever your sensor picks up that goes straight to your electronic viewfinder and whatever you're looking at on that screen is exactly what the image will be whenever you record your video or snap a picture. Now if you look at lots of YouTubers that have the bigger, more expensive cameras like maybe the 70D, the Canon 5D Mark II, or even the T7i in that whole entire series, those are DSLR cameras which for the longest time have been the most popular. The whole DSLR versus mirrorless debate I'm not going to get into in this video, but I used to own a Canon T5i which is a DSLR and it was a lot bulkier and heavier because there are mirrors inside the camera that bounce off that image. So mirrorless cameras are now becoming more popular because they are a lot smaller, a lot less heavy for carrying around, but they still have that same great image quality as DSLRs. Now on the other hand, this camera right here, the G7X Mark II, is a point and shoot camera. So it is exactly what it sounds like. You just pick it up, you go, everything's ready to basically start recording. And these are some of the most popular cameras. They're really small, simple to use, and there are a lot of affordable options when it comes to point and shoot. So the main difference between having a point and shoot camera versus a mirrorless or even a DSLR camera is interchangeable lenses. So on my M50, I'm able to buy different Canon lenses or even other brands that also fit this camera depending on what type of style, what type of focal length, and a whole bunch of other criteria. Um, on this camera right here, you are not able to change this lens. This lens that it comes with is the only thing that you get. Point and shoot is literally you just point and shoot your camera. Mirrorless cameras, I'm able to buy different lenses. So I have a 50 millimeter lens. I have, this is the kit lens that the camera came with. This is a 15 to 45 millimeter lens. And the lens that you guys are currently watching me on is a 22 millimeter lens. So what does that mean that you're able to change lenses? This can really impact the type of video or photos you're trying to do. So. I probably will end up making a whole entire video going deeper into lenses and focal lengths and all the other things, but basically this allows you to really just utilize your camera to its fullest ability and have different lenses for different purposes. Basically the smaller the number, the wider the angle. So this one goes all the way down to 15 millimeters, which is a really wide angle. It will capture more of my background and having a wider angle lens is good for vlogging because you want to capture more of everything around you. However, However, this one is 50, 50 millimeters, so that's a lot closer in. This is really good for photography or even for videos if you're doing things like up close makeup, skincare, those types of things. You might want to have a lens that's closer in. So being able to change lenses is really a game changer and it really allows you to just completely build up your camera. The camera body is such a small factor in the way that your videos and photos turn out. You can have a $500 camera body, but your lenses can be $500, $600, $1,000 plus. So the lenses really allow you to customize your camera depending on what you want to use it for and the kind of look and style that you're going for. 
Another thing about being able to change lenses. So if you guys see those videos where the backgrounds are really blurry, that has to do with aperture. So aperture is basically how small or how wide your lens is opening. Whenever you have a point and shoot camera, you don't really have much flexibility when it comes to aperture, but you can buy different lenses that have different aperture and you can have that super blurry background if you want it. You can also buy zoom lenses for your mirrorless camera so you can capture images and videos from far away. I used to have a 300 millimeter zoom lens and at my brother's college graduation I was probably sitting way up in the stands at least a football field away from the stage and I was able to zoom all the way in and capture that moment of him getting his diploma so being able to buy lenses is just such such a game changer. So the G7X actually does have a digital zoom and it goes a decent amount of zoom but it's not the same as having an actual zoom lens. Digital zoom just isn't the same quality as having a zoom lens that's really able to capture that image with better quality. So when it comes to image quality there is a slight difference. The M50 has 24 megapixels and the G7X Mark II has 20. The main difference is that the M50 is able to record video in 4K while this is not. There is actually a G7 X Mark III that's a little bit more expensive. I'll link that down below. I think it's around $750 right now. That one does 4K video, but this one does not. Now, is that a deal breaker? No, I actually have never shot video in 4K on this camera. I only do 1080p. The reason for that is there is a downside on the M50. So the M50's autofocus system is called the dual pixel autofocus system, and it basically tracks your face. However, whenever you're shooting in 4K video, for some reason, you're not able to do that. And for me, shooting videos by myself it's really important to be in focus and so I would just rather not risk it and have that full autofocus system shooting in 1080p. Something else about image quality is that both of these cameras have a cropped image so whenever you record video you will notice that the image slightly crops in just a little bit. So next is the camera body. So the G7X Mark II is a little bit smaller than the M50, weighing in at 319 grams with the battery and the SD card. The M50 weighs 387 grams with the battery, SD card, and the kit lens on. The M50 also comes in white, but for some reason I think it was a little bit more expensive, so I just went with the black one. Also, I wasn't sure if white would get dirty over time. So the M50 is slightly larger, but honestly, I've carried it around in my purse, in my bag it doesn't weigh too much depending on the type of lens you have so different lenses can add weight to it but the lens that I normally shoot on the 22 millimeter lens is a pancake lens so it's super small and super lightweight both cameras have a 3 inch LCD touchscreen that flips out. This is so useful if you are vlogging or recording video by yourself to make sure that you are in focus and the image looks the way you want it to look. So the M50 screen is able to tilt different angles and it flips out to the side. The PowerShot G7X Mark II flips upward. So when it comes to autofocus, both cameras have pretty good autofocus, but the main difference is the M50 has a much newer and sophisticated system. So the M50 has Canon's dual pixel autofocus system, which tracks your face from a bunch of different points. The Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II just has a regular autofocus, which is pretty good, but face tracking is really useful for YouTube because obviously you're trying to keep your face and yourself in focus. So if you move around throughout the video, or even if you go off screen and come back, the face tracking system will pick up your face and get that back into focus. External microphones. The N50 allows you to add an external microphone. This is a really big difference in audio quality when it comes to YouTube. Obviously, most YouTube videos are you talking to the camera. If you're vlogging, if you're doing a sit down video, a tutorial, whatever you're doing, your audience seems to be able to clearly hear what you're saying and not hear any muffled sounds or noise in the background or anything distracting. So the N50 allows you to add an external microphone. It has a hot shoe mount on top, which is basically just that thing that you can slide your microphone on. So right now I have a shotgun mic on top of my camera. This is me with the microphone on. Let me turn the microphone off and let you guys hear the difference. So this is me again with the M50 with no microphone. So the G7X Mark II definitely loses some points for not being able to add an external microphone and that was one of the main reasons besides the interchangeable lenses why I decided to buy the M50. 
So as far as battery life goes, these stats say that the battery life is pretty similar, but for me personally, I have noticed that the N50 battery dies a lot faster. It's not that big of a deal because I do have extra batteries and I always recharge my batteries before I film. However, there is a difference in price. So for replacement batteries on Amazon, and by the way, you guys should always have replacement batteries because you never know when you're going to be out and about and your camera dies and it's going to really suck for you if you don't have any extra batteries or anything to charge. So so for the M50 on Amazon, I got a two-pack battery replacement with a charger for $25.99. For the G7X, a two-pack with a charger was $42.99. So there is a difference in price between batteries, and these are not even the Canon brand. These are just the off-brand. So there is a slight difference, but it definitely is worth it to always have extra batteries. So both cameras have a video recording limit. That just means that whenever you reach that time limit while you're recording video, it will stop the video, save that file, and you have to start a new video recording. So the N50, I did the test to see how long it would record for and it lasted for 30 minutes. The G7X, whenever I googled what the recording limit was, it said 16 minutes but I actually did it and it lasted for 24 minutes and 12 seconds while recording on 30 frames per second. So overall it's not that big of a deal because all you do is just start a new video recording. It's not that serious and it never really has been a deal breaker for me. Both cameras have image stabilization. The G7X Mark II has dynamic IS and the M50 has digital IS. So this will help when vlogging so that your videos don't look shaky and that your viewer does not get a headache from seeing all the different movement from vlogging. However, on the M50, there are certain lenses that don't have IS, so you do have to make sure that your lens has that if you're using it for vlogging. When it comes to photography, I definitely prefer the N50 for the sole fact of being able to add different lenses depending on what type of photo I'm trying to get. My favorite lens for taking photos is the 50mm lens. The background is super blurry and the foreground is nice and crisp and overall the quality of photos is just a lot better on the N50. The G7 X Mark II does take great photos but there's just not a comparison from a mirrorless to a point and shoot. I'll show you guys some different images taken on either cameras. If you are really looking to take photos, I definitely would recommend the M50. However, if you're mostly using this for video and vlogging, the G7X still does take very good photos. Okay, so just a couple more features that these cameras have in common and also not in common. So both cameras have a built-in flash. They pop up at the top and this can help if you're taking photos in low light. They both have Wi-Fi, which is so useful because you're able to quickly send images and videos to different devices. You can also download the Canon Connect app, and while you're recording, you can have a laptop, a TV, or an iPad, something like that, even your phone, to basically control your camera from the app. It's really helpful if you're recording by yourself. You're able to control the different lighting settings, press play, take photos, and just do everything from the palm of your hand. Both cameras have white balance control and settings for manual, portrait, auto, and a couple of different other things. They also both have the same menu, which I would say is pretty self-explanatory and a pretty simple interface. So overall, these are both great cameras for videos and getting started on YouTube. Who would I recommend these cameras for? If you are just looking for vlogging or just a really simplified and ready to go camera, the G7X Mark II is the one for you. You don't really have to do much. You can just push play and you're good to go. If you want to get more into videography and photography, you want to add things like different lenses, microphones, and kind of just elevate your video or your YouTube game, the M50 is the camera for you. The thing about the M50 is you keep growing as you buy more lenses. The body stays the same, but the lenses are really what changes it, and over time you can build your lens collection and have just an amazing camera experience. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible make sure that you guys are subscribed for new uploads every Sunday and Wednesday and I will catch you in the next video. Bye y'all.